have two things in common other than being talented. Both of them started their passion at a very young age, and they never gave up to achieve their dreams. At ngayon naman, successful na sila, both of them are giving back to the Filipino-American community. First, let's have a look at the inspiring story of Johnny Beloso of Union City, California. Here's our correspondent, Trina Soledad, for the full story. Thank you, Anthony. Our next story is about Johnny Veloso, na isang pinasang choreographer sa Pilipinas at ngayon ay isa sa pinakamagagaling na choreographer sa Bay Area. Maganda na ang karir ni Johnny Veloso sa Pilipinas bilang isang choreographer at entrepreneur. Ngunit ipinayinin niyang pagpatuloy ang kanyang passion para sa arts and culture dito sa Amerika. Let's hear more about his story. Ako ay ang panglima sa pitong magkakapatid mula sa Botolan, Zambales. Where Mount Pinatubo is, where the Aborigines, the Aitas, came from. Ako lang ang professionally napunta sa arts, although the rest kumakanta sa masayaw rin ay no, pero yung mga lalaki kong patid, kapatid naging militar, and then ang ati kong panganay naging teacher. Pero napansin ko sa mga pumangkin at mga apu ko, they're all in the arts and they're good. Back in the Philippines, elementary years, we have this PE. During commencing exercises, we don't have performances until high school. I belong to the dance troupe. And during high school also, my town, my community asked me to teach. So it became a passion. Tapos nung mapunta ako sa kolehyo, no, after my first year, nagkaroon ng uh, anonsyo na, okay, wanted university dancer, chance to go abroad other than scholarship. So pinagpalit ko yung academic scholarship ko dahil may chance to go abroad. Ayun, nag-umpisa lahat doon until it became my business too. After college, inumpisahan ko na rin yung sarili kong grupo. And then I belong to the Association of Managers and Choreographers Association, where I headed the first Choreographers Association of the Philippines for the entertainment industry. Hanggang sa pagdala-dala ng mga dancers to represent the Philippines abroad sa festivals, ako pa rin ang ex-official tour director, including the Philippine Ballet Theater. And actually, I really love it. During that time, when I say commercial dancing, like mayroong kami mga kontrata to go abroad to perform six months and so on, and then we earn. And then in between those, my director, we accept uh, invitation to represent the Philippines sa mga international folkloric festival, Asia, US, and Europe. And that's the most rewarding uh, uh, part of it because we represent the country. In the mid-80s, Johnny established his own in-house talents called BJ Productions, which proved to be a success. After a few years, he then ventured into another exciting business. Tumaki yung aming catering. Sabi ko, kumuha na tayo ng restaurant para magkaroon ng official opisina ang food business. Doon nagsimula lahat siya. So, kumuha kami ng lugar, ng opisina, restaurant, studio. Okay, at in one place, I don't sell myself. I don't advertise. I work with basic trust, period. It's one way of touching the lives of other people's na medyo negatibo ang dating. Hindi ko binabara, okay? I have a way. I never argue. And in that sense nga, pwede kong masabi nga na pinanday ako ng panahon. So through the years, because of those experiences and exposures, that's Johnny now. Despite his immense success here in the U.S., Johnny still never forgets to give back to his community, especially the younger generation, to help promote the Filipino culture. Balikan po natin ulit si Johnny. Over the years, he has received numerous awards and recognitions locally and internationally as a dancer and choreographer. 
Johnny decided to move to the United States in the 90s and focused on voluntary work. Aside from my own parish, the St. Anne Parish of Union City, every time that they have festivals, practically lahat ng invitations ng mga parishes within the area for the festivals, I see to it ng mga bata magpapag-perform and then the consulate's uh, independent celebration, the pistahan annual celebration of the year Babuena. Lately nga, tuwa-tuwa mga bata dahil they were able to perform at the home plate ng Giants Heritage Night. What a reward for the kids. Way, way back, I also did the Delano, you know, folkloric uh, group. That's why, you know, the assembly gave me a, a, a certificate of recognition. Johnny has organized events that impacted the Filipino-American youth of today and gave them a positive outlook about their Filipino culture and heritage. Over the years, he has been recognized for sacrificing countless hours of teaching without monetary compensation. I never say no if there's an opportunity to represent the country, to head a group for the folkloric festival. They always ask me, how do I do it? Because sabi nila, I'm all over the place. I may be a choreographer, but I don't choreograph my life. Sabi ko, my life flows like a river. Sabi ko. And uh, hindi uso sa akin yung tinatawag nilang payback, payback, no. When you give, you give. It's hard to be a Christian, but we should always try. And I think, and then of course, yung drive, yung passion mo. I am so gratified and happy inside really dahil I know I'm the journey that I want to be. Yeah. He's very hard working. He's always busy. His time is just his commitment. It's just extraordinary. It's, uh, we, uh, we really can't find another person like that around here. He's a really kind person. Like He's really hard working what he does. Johnny is very proud of his Filipino heritage and he tries to keep the tradition alive. Each and every culture, mayroong maganda, mayroong hindi kaganong kaganda. We keep yung maganda. Kasi, huwag kalimutan yung sinabi ni Dr. Jose Rizal, right? Hindi magmahal sa sariling wika. Ay masahol pa sa malansang isda. It goes without saying, hindi ka Pinoy unless you keep that tradition and culture na pinamana sa atin. So, yung mga exposures ko, experiences ko, I impart to these kids, okay, na, you know, there's always a way. Basta alam mong tamang ginagawa mo. It's really more of a passion na talaga. It's inside. I believe na lahat tayo dito sa mundo binigyan ng isang bagay na gagawin na hindi talaga kailangan pang pumunta sa eskwelahan, binigyan tayo ng Diyos ng gano'ng mga kakayahan, talino, whatever it is, you call it. And I will do it until, you know, I can. After the break...